Skorska. Mikhail S. Gorbachev, or R. R. Sorry. Communist has five everywhere. You don't want to miss the last name. What's happening in Europe right now is the most significant event in your life. The impact it's going to have on you as a black person, the impact it's going to have on you as a business person, rivals reconstruction. What you are seeing in just a few minutes is an extraordinary event. The white world, the old world, is coming together. There will no longer be two men to play against two men. And when that world is united, the great conflict on the globe will no longer be communism versus capitalism. It will be the old world plus the new world against the third world. Now, here again to show what kind of stupid some of you are, and you're saying to yourself, boy, those poor people in the third world, are they going to get it? <laughs> third world means you. At the same time that this major shift in the alignment of power is taking place, there are now extraordinary opportunities for black business leadership around the third world. And that's where you want to do business. I have news for you. All you want to run to London and be able to call from London and you know, wait, and I'm in London, the company said, no, that, that fortune has been made. It's gone. It's depleted. You want to talk about the gold rush days of California before it was all discovered. You're talking about Africa today. If you want to talk about the United States when it was 13 counties, when it was rich with natural resources and much richer with possibilities, that's Africa today. Those of you who are business people know it doesn't make any sense to go where the deal is already made. What you want to do is go into the future and be the first to be there. That is Africa today. That is Africa today, and that is the third world today. And on the face of the planet, there is no group of black people who are better educated, who have had more opportunities at business, who know the system better than you do. The only thing that is stopping you, the only reason you didn't jump up out of your seat and run out that door right now, is your head is full of his stories. 